One of the main differences between Ion Classic and Ion Live is the maximum movement speed of your character. In Ion Classic, at start you will move very slow, but there are a few different mechanics which you can use to make your character very fast. Stay with me for the next few minutes to see part of my live stream and to find out how to increase movement speed of your character on a few different ways. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content and of course Ion Classic content in the future. I am live streaming every evening, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. So let's talk this evening about one very important topic and that is how to increase movement speed of your character. Because if you have played Ion before and especially if you are coming from Ion live servers, you will notice that in Ion classic, because there is no transformations, your character is moving very, very slow. Let me show you here one very interesting example. I'm here on Chanter level 55. However, I have removed my mantras. I have removed everything. And of course, I will use only my greater running scroll. Yes, in Iron Classic, we have scrolls, which we don't have on Iron Live servers. So without greater running scroll, this would be speed of my character. Look at this. This is very, very slow, right? I mean, after you start to level up your character, you will notice this will be very, very annoying. If I use greater running scroll, which is obviously first way how to increase your speed, don't worry, you'll be able to get some greater running scrolls or maybe some lesser running scrolls, at least any kind of running scroll from Diva Pass, free part of Diva Pass. Uh, you will finish different kind of missions here. Let me show you. And uh, you can see even first reward here on level one of Diva Pass will be greater running scroll, right? So you'll be able to run a little bit faster. Well, let me show you how much faster. This is still very, very slow. So what to do? First thing, which you need to be careful about and never forget when you level up your character on Elio's side about level 15, actually on level 15, you'll be able to talk with this NPC here. Abolos. Let me mark this NPC here in Veteran. And on Osmo's side, there are also corresponding quests. Uh, you'll find different kind of quests in the game while you level up your character, which are actually offering you different kind of title. I'm here on uh, this part of user interface. You can see I didn't equip any kind of title. From this NPC Abolos, you can get quest where you need to kill one mob. And after that, you're getting title, which will have a movement speed plus 3%. I know it's not much. It's really not much, but at least something. So take that title. I have just taken and you will notice that already just because of this 3% and greater running scroll, I am moving at least a little bit faster. So if you have decided to play on Elias side, on level 15, don't forget Verteron. This is my location here on Verteron map. To uh, Tolbas Village, NPC Abolos. Also, there is another way how to get title on Eltnen, uh, actually in Eltnen map. A little bit later, I think about level 42, let's move to Eltnen to show you another NPC position where you can get another title which will give you additionally movement speed. And like I said, it's not much, but every percentage means a lot because otherwise you will move, ex move extremely slow. Look how slow this is, right? This is very, very slow. So let's move uh, to that uh, another NPC over there. Okay, we are getting closer to this NPC. You can see here in front of me, Lodas. You'll get a specific quest. I think it's about level 42 from Lodas. Again, it will give you title, which will increase your speed for a few percent. Take that in consideration. Don't forget when you see any kind of quest also over there, if you have decided to play on Osmo faction, when you see some quest giving you movement speed, use that quest, right? Uh, finish that quest and get additional movement speed. Another very good way how to increase your movement speed, and that is very important. Lay, I mean, you'll not be able to do that right away when you start to play the game, but this will give you lots of speed. You can see here in front, I have currently equipped uh, these uh, boots, uh, these shoes, 
which don't have any kind of additional movement speed. You can't get them right away. Uh, you will get them later in the game when you level up because you're leveling gear. When you level up your gear, you check always, do, have, do you have any kind of movement speed additionally on your boots? That's very important. These ones are abyss, but they are very bad. They're really not good. And I can show you, right, let's run. Currently, I will put my running scroll. This is with running scroll and with title. Look, my speed is still pretty low, right? Now, let's change boots. I will put now a uh, tech uh, gear. This is tech uh, shoes, uh, which have movement speed plus 22%. Let's do this. This is now looking much better. You have to admit, right? This is now looking much, much better. So, uh, boots very important part uh, how to increase your movement speed right in combination with title and with uh, greater running scroll so scroll title and boots will give you actually pretty decent speed and uh, on the end i would say one very good way also to increase your speed i'm currently on my chanter uh, if you will play chanter then you will use this mantra of course i was i didn't use this mantra all the time now uh, during this live stream i will use it now on purpose right this mantra celerity mantra will give you increased speed uh, so okay if you don't play chanter as your main character maybe you can play in group right with other chanter that is also a reason why many groups for pvp and for pve wants to have chanter right as member as mandatory member because if for even for pvp or for pve increased movement speed and other mantras will be very very nice addition to your party so another way how to increase your speed either play chanter and if you don't want to play chanter of course you can group up with some chanter and look at my speed now this is now you have to admit looking much better so combination of mantra greater running scroll title and additionally uh, boots right you need to check your boots mandatory uh, you will see in ion 1.9 we'll have different kind of gear uh, starting uh, with uh, coin sets not all the coin gear not all the coin shoes have movement speed don't forget that check first gear which you will see first boots which have movement speed take them because other than that Let's check again. So this is my character moving with all of these little things in combination, right? Moving actually, you can see pretty, pretty decent. And now if I remove mantra, and if I remove my shoes, and if I remove my running scroll, and on the end, if I remove my title, let me show you how will you actually move on start of your gameplay of Iron Classic. <laughs> Do you see this? This is kind of funny, right? But this will be your character on the start of the gameplay. Even if you use running scroll, right, which you will have. Look at this. Still extremely, extremely slow, right? So you need to use everything what you have. Group up with Chanter. It will be better. Use your title. Even better more. And on the end, very important, use 22% plus movement speed boots. So this will be my guide how to increase your movement speed for new players uh, to, uh, to learn actually these mechanics and for veteran players to remind you because if you're coming from live servers then you can for probably forget about these things because you are using transformations. In Iron Classic we don't have any kind of transformations but we have scrolls and other things which can help you to increase your movement speed. If you are watching my live stream, let's go forward with live stream. If you are watching this as video on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content and of course Iron Classic content in the future. I am live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.